across the globe, there are places which aspire to provide the most exclusive of holiday experiences. Luxurious. What I am doing is the best you can get in the moment. Adventurous. Oh my God, lions, oh my goodness. And sometimes quirky. He is one of the most famous guests, and he has a fan club. He has an Instagram of over 10,000 followers. But what challenges do these hotels face, and how do they strive to be a top destination? Anybody could have bricks and mortar in the right location, but in order to stay relevant, I do think it's important to innovate. With the exclusive access, we go behind the scenes. All right, now let me take you to one of our specialty suites. Following the staff who work around the clock. Yes, we need to be fast, yeah? The guest is waiting. To deliver to their guests whatever it takes to impress. When you go from one room to the other, you go into another piece of art. Notice the view is like no other in the world. Our guests love fantasy and happiness. We take care of every guest and make them feel like kings. From Asia to Arizona, Kenya to the Caribbean, Dubai to India. Step behind the scenes of some of the world's most incredible hotels. Vietnam, a country known for its tropical landscapes, exotic Asian cuisine and vibrant culture, which today is enjoying a new surge in popularity as a go-to travel destination. Hoping to offer visitors something special are two very different hotels. One dominates the city's skyline and hotel scene by bringing a slice of Italy to the Orient, sharing its opulent interiors and internationally sourced cuisine to visitors from around the world. While the other hopes its stunning location can offer a picture-perfect beach paradise, combining European colonial-style luxury with authentic culture from the local community to deliver an unforgettable stay. The Anam Resort is located on a tropical white sand beach in the peaceful coastal town of Camran and only one hour by plane from Ho Chi Minh City. Guests who arrive here are welcome to what locals describe as paradise. Anam is the name for old Vietnam. Yeah? And this was selected by, by the owner's family. It's very nice, it's easy to remember. Yeah? And it's also Anam, old Vietnam. It fits perfectly into our concept. Opened in 2017 and overlooking 300 meters of its own private beach and crystal clear turquoise waters, the Anam Resort's 213 colonial-styled villas and suites are designed to echo old-world values. They aim to offer five-star luxury and beachfront relaxation to guests who come from all over the world. First of all, we are a colonial beach resort. Everything is based on this colonial idea. You see the interior design, you see lots of elements in the uniforms, in the floor tiles. So this is, this is first and foremost our, our concept. Many of the hotel's guests choose to start their day with a morning yoga session. With the session taking place overlooking this beautiful coastline, it should be a very calming experience. But for the staff here, the location means constantly having to be ready for what Mother Nature decides to throw at them. So while some guests wake up to another day in paradise, on the hotel's private beach, a huge team of groundskeepers under the command of lifeguard and recreation manager Ding Jun Te Guan are busy getting the beach back to its former glory after a massive storm hit the area last night. Hôm qua thì bão nó tới thì hơi bất ngờ một chút bởi vì buổi tối hôm đó thì nó chưa có gì hết nhưng mà buổi sáng thì trong vòng có 2 tiếng đồng hồ nó làm kinh khủng lắm. Gió thổi là nhìn tầm 20 m 10 m là mình không thấy gì hết mà chớp liên tục. Worse still for staff, 
Last night's bad wind and heavy rain has knocked over 10 trees on the resort and left its private beach covered in wreckage. While lifeguard Jun organises the clean-up operation on the beach, duty manager Win Lu Hai needs to make sure last night's storm hasn't put guests' safety at risk by checking in with his team. On a resort that covers 12 hectares, having the right transport is key. Uh, yesterday night, we have a like, really big storm, and uh, we need, now I need to come in uh, to, to, to check uh, with uh, my staff over there. Everything is working well in uh, that area, in the beach area. So you can see it's a little bit damaged here and all the sand is uh, have thrown out. Now I need to check and inform to the like gardener with the team to uh, like to fix it, like this area and this area also. There was a lot of rubbish at the beach this morning and my staff with the team already like taking to the here. With his inspection over, Hai needs to rush back for his daily meeting with resident manager Norbert Mayer. You can imagine that there are so many things to be done in a resort like this. And uh, they are every single day special requests from guests. Uh, they are uh, last minute arrangements to be done. I'm going to meet my department heads now and uh, to provide a, a truly five star experience for our guests and uh, to ensure that the guests are happy. Hello, Sing Chao, good morning. How are you today? So every day there is a departmental briefing, so it's very well structured that uh, we, we go from the top down to the bottom. So it's like a, it's a little bit like a military base, you know. All the troops know exactly what to do. Top of the agenda today are preparations for the arrival of some important VIP guests. Maya, can you update us on the preparation of the arrival of Mr. and Mrs. Lair today? This is the first trip, uh, the trip for their first wedding anniversary. Oh. Yeah. So uh, Mr. Nair would like to arrange something uh, special and surprise his wife. So I suggest him to do a, a romantic dinner on the beach. Very and, good idea. Uh, yeah, I think Miss Maria will be very happy yeah. about that. Yeah. Mr. and Mrs. Leia are due to arrive in just hours. And for Norbert and his team, their focus is to deliver them an incredible experience. But after last night's bad weather, the first priority is to make sure they're safe. Having made his checks across the entire resort, duty manager Hai is ready to update his colleagues on the situation. Our team already uh, double checked um, with all the department to make sure uh, the guest uh, security and safety. There are the room 135, 328 and 401 call and concern about the rain and the disturbance by the thunders. Our night manager already talked with them and uh, said that they don't need to worry about. And we also check the resort or um, every corner and make sure that there is no flood at all. Mm, well done, well done, very good. Yeah. Let's take a look today into the weather forecast for the next uh, few days, so that in case we need to arrange accommodations for our uh, associates, so that uh, when they cannot go home safely or cannot uh, come on time, they can stay here and we make sure that uh, there's a place for them to stay. Yeah? So uh, I will arrange that, but let me know uh, about the weather conditions. Yes, sir. Okay, I think uh, a very exciting day ahead and uh, so let's make sure that our guests are all happy and uh, that everything is arranged uh, before they arrive. Thank you, have a good day. Thank you, sir. Have a day. Thank you. While staff at the coast get to grips with the day's new challenges... Oh. ..just under 400 kilometres to the southwest of Vietnam in Ho Chi Minh City is another hotel that's trying to make a name for itself on the country's hotel scene, the Reverie Saigon. It made its grand debut in 2015 after a seven-year building program. With over 200 guest rooms and suites, offering unrestricted views over the city, and palatial interiors which celebrate Italian culture and craftsmanship, it aims to be one of the city's premier locations for five-star quality and hospitality. 
course, we have a wonderful spa. We have a couple of restaurants and, yes, a swimming pool and gym. Yes. And a helipad. Today, the hotel is also expecting the arrival of several VIP guests and is playing host to some important events. As if this wasn't enough, the kitchen team are also responsible for preparing food for all five of the hotel's restaurants. And it's here that executive chef Giovanni Perella believes he's established a reputation as one of the city's best venues for authentic Italian cuisine. I grew up in an um, Italian family, traditional Italian family, a large family with a lot of cooking passion. I took the passion from uh, grandma while she was uh, rolling pasta on Sunday. I was uh, hiding under the table when I was a child, stealing uh, stuff for the pasta. That's where I understand that this will be my job for my life. Giovanni serves up a real mix of family-inspired recipes for lunchtime diners, including everything from classical Italian salads to sandwiches and a range of pasta dishes. Another favorite with his guests is his take on another Italian tradition. I would like to talk about my pizza. Since I'm from Napoli and the pizza is uh, the icon of my city. It is the best pizza in town as well, I would say. Our beautiful pizza oven from Acunto, Napoli. Acunto family is three generations pizza oven maker. The wood we use is acacia. That's beautiful because uh, acacia wood gives a beautiful aroma to the pizza. Sorry. I love him. Apart from Giovanni's state-of-the-art pizza oven, the hotel has also chosen to invest in its own fleet of transport, one that's designed to give guests an idea of what might await them during their stay before they even reach the lobby. We have quite uh, a wide range of limousines. We have a fantastic Rolls-Royce, um, which is a special edition, which is the Phantom Dragon. Then we have a Bentley. We have another Rolls Royce, which is the Ghost. Hotel chauffeur Vu is making sure his Rolls Royce is fit for service before he picks up his latest VIP guest from the airport. Corn water, dry food, towel, newspaper, and a bypass. So one special something for the guest. Something for welcoming the guests. For Vu's latest passenger, no matter how long their flight might have been, he hopes the rolls can make the final stage of their journey to the hotel comfortable, even when outside in the city traffic is buzzing with the morning's chaotic rush hour. Vu likes to think his limousine is all about calm refinement and sophistication. While Vu starts his journey back to the hotel with his new passenger, on the 37th floor, executive housekeeper Wilbur is making his way to its top-of-the-range Vision Air Suite. We are very unique in towards that, that we have 12 different room types where none of the rooms looks alike. And even there are some suites which also show a different designer within the suites. Many guests which come, of course, they, are, um, they see the interior design and say, wow. These designer suites can cost over £3,000 a night. So Wilbur has to check that every detail is perfect before their next guest arrives. Housekeeping. Let's go in. So this is the designer by Visionaire, very different, very uh, one of the kind of the designer. So as you can see, uh, still have a very top uh, welcome amenity for VIP. You can see the connection between the ladder, the maple, and the glass. As you can see, there's nothing really around us which is blocking us. So there is no room with a bad view. 
This is very special bedroom with a lot of masterpiece of the furniture. You can see the chandelier and uh, go together with the top standard linen uh, from Frete, 600 uh, T-Scott, together with the leather bed headboard, uh, can make the guest very happy. With so many VIP guests arriving today, Wilbur and his team have their work cut out. They can only hope the city's notorious rush hour traffic buys them some extra time to prepare this suite for their next special guest. It's a lot of pressure, but it's, it's the excitement to have your guests coming in. It is, uh, yes, it gets your uh, blood pumping. It's, it's very exciting. As Wilbur and his team add the finishing touches to the Visionaire suite, hotel manager Christina Von Reddy is making her way down to the hotel's lobby to make sure her staff are prepared for another busy day. Welcome to the seventh floor, which is our uh, check-in area. This is where you have the concierge and the reception desk. So the centerpiece of the entire hotel, and of course, certainly of this floor, is this fabulous Baldi clock, which is uh, 24 karat gold. It was custom made for us. And uh, it is, well, the building is called Times Square, and the Times Square building needs to have a clock, and then it cannot be any clock. So Baldi has designed that and made that for us. The hotel's Baldi clock is just one of the features designed to impress its guests. This is my most favorite part, I have to confess, which is our elevator, because there's no elevator like that I've ever seen anywhere. And it is, this is agate stone, which is cut so thin that the light can shine through and makes it that fabulous. Welcome to the ground floor lobby, which is our welcoming lobby. And if you look on the ceiling, you have this fabulous Murano glass, which is shaped in the form of Vietnam. All okay? Everything fine? Yes? Very good. Thank you. Have a lovely day. But the hotel has another new arrival this morning that isn't so welcome. The same storm which battered the beach resort the previous evening has now hit Ho Chi Minh City. How are you? Guten Tag, wie geht's? <laughs> Everything okay? Yes. Not very busy today because of the typhoon. Today we cannot go out and we cannot put the furniture out. So no, no terrace today. There is no normal day, but this is why I'm in the business in such a long time because there's no dull moment. There is, it's never boring and it's never the same and uh, you always have to adapt to new situations which come all of a sudden because it's so unpredictable. Yes, but the guests will come inside. Exactly, the guests will come inside. But you don't have to stand outside to get them inside. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you, ladies. Thank you. you can have a fascinating building, you can have a fascinating hotel, but if the team is not adapting to it or giving uh, the work with it, then uh, nothing is working. Having professional staff who can cater to the wishes of guests from across the globe is also essential to the success of the Anam Resort. Here, the solution is its in-house training program. And today, new member of staff, Z, has arrived for his latest lesson. Hello. Uh, this is my first day of working here, so uh, I need the uniform for the land week. Thank you very much. Enjoy your work See you. An important element of the staff training program is role play. And for today's scenario, Z has been selected to play the part of a waiter who has to deal with an unhappy customer. Hello, yes. I'm very angry. Okay, sorry. Uh, just a moment. Let me check with the kitchen, okay? Yes. Okay. So I'm very sorry about your inconvenience. So because uh, we had a problem in the kitchen, so now your food will be coming at 10 minutes 
So would you like some tea or coffee? While some members of staff are learning how to deal with an upset customer. I'm, I'm very hungry, please. <sighs> on another part of the resort, the housekeeping team are also working hard to make sure their guests have the best possible experience. As they work against the clock to get one of the hotel's 77 luxury villas ready. At over £700 per night, guests can enjoy 267 square metres of palatial interiors and access to their own private pool and sea views. While guests have been enjoying the massage treatments available at the resort's 400 square meter Srimara Spa, down on the hotel's private beach, it's been a hive of activity as an army of staff have been working hard to clear up the wreckage from last night's storm. And thanks to their incredible effort, together with the perfect weather, lifeguard Jun is finally ready to welcome guests for a fun afternoon on the water. Thì mỗi em thì khách thường chơi uh, thuyền buồm, rồi uh, cái giấc kinh, rồi uh, uh, hồi có thuyền thúng nữa, rồi uh, lặn, câu cá, vân vân rồi. With so many beach activities on offer, guests at the resort shouldn't have to worry about getting bored. Just too much to do. Yeah. Too much to do. You can't fit it all in the time we're here. Yeah, we, we would have liked to stay longer. Yeah, that's the only regret. Và lúc 3 giờ thì sẽ có nhân viên sẽ mời khách và chơi với khách. Còn ví dụ ngày đẹp á, thì khách có thể bất cứ lúc nào cũng xuống chơi cây giác hay thuyền bươm được hết free tất cả. Back in Ho Chi Minh City, the staff at the Reverie are also busy carrying out their daily maintenance. And with last night's storm having made its way to Ho Chi Minh City, the wind has picked up, so personal trainer and recreation supervisor Bao is making sure his own stretch of waterfront, the hotel's rooftop pool, is ready to welcome guests. But Bao's latest visitors aren't here for a swim. I have been working here almost two years, and my passion still burning every, every day. We have to vacuum, use the suction to remove everything under the water, uh, such as uh, the briefs, muffs, or ducks. And when it comes to making sure this pool is in pristine condition, there's no shortcuts. Just good old-fashioned breaststroke and a pair of goggles. Hi, guys. Are you ready? OK, now please go diving deeper and make sure everything is good. He has to dive in deeper to make sure the mosaic tie to be clean. If not clean, he has to use the brush to clean it. Make sure everything is the tie is good. Do you need this one? No. <laughs> While Bao and his colleagues carry out their detailed inspection of the hotel's swimming pool, on the fifth floor, local Ho Chi Minh resident Lucy Wing has chosen its ballroom as a venue for some very important celebrations. Hôm nay có một số bạn bè thân nhân dịp sinh nhật của ông trong mấy người bạn từ tháng 10 đến tháng 11 mà ai cũng bận không đi được cho nên hôm nay là tụ với nhau lại. Sở ở đây thì nói đúng ra là mấy em sẽ biết thức ăn ngon tức là nó hoàn toàn vừa ý hết. Chỉ có mong là khách sạn càng ngày càng đông khách thôi. Đông khách để mà cùng chung vui với mình trong cái những buổi tiệc lớn. Khách sạn The Rivery này nó có cái view, cái cái khung cảnh đẹp. Nhìn nó, 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 nó mới mẻ và nó có những cái mà nó, nó làm cho tụi chị relax được. Ngồi đây có nhẹ nhàng. Another one of the hotel's amenities Lucy and her friends are hoping to use as part of their celebrations is its popular spa. And it's here spa trainer Kitty Ma is teaching her team how to handle guests by revealing the secrets of Thai massage. Hello, ladies. Hi. 
morning. How are you today? I'm fine. Thank you. Are you ready for yes. the Thai training for today? Yes. That's really good. Alright, Lisa, could you please prepare yourself? My job responsibility is to help to train the spa treatment and of course sharing is the knowledge. This is what I love. With the scene set, Kitty Ma can begin the demonstration. Maybe prepare the towel to cover this up. Yes, cover for you a little bit. Yes. You feel comfortable? The light, the music is okay? It is okay. The luxury hotel and its high-profile client, they are looking for something is above and beyond experience. With her Thai massage demonstration over, it's time for Kitty Ma's students to see how much they've learned. In each treatment, in each massage, the key important is consultation with the client and figure out what the aim of the treatment of your client needs. This is a good begin and my staff already to serve get in this hotel and to make our spa is memorable for the experience. That's all. The spa is just one of several facilities available to guests. But as a hotel located in one of the most vibrant and exciting cities in Southeast Asia, many of its visitors are looking to enjoy all the attractions that come with it. We have a prime location here. Everything is reachable uh, by foot. There's no better place to stay, if you ask me. But for any guests who don't want to venture out onto Ho Chi Minh's busy streets and instead prefer the luxury of shopping from the comfort of their own hotel suite, fashion designer Lacey Wang is happy to provide a special service. And today he's delivering one of his latest creations, inspired by Vietnam's national garment, the Ao Dai. Riviera là một khách sạn rất là đẹp và nổi tiếng nhất ở thành phố Hồ Chí Minh. Và những vị khách đến ngủ tại Riviera thì đều là những người mà tôi muốn nói rằng là số một. Guests at the hotel who specially commission an Ao Dai from Lacey Wang are looking for something unique. But for a £1,800 price tag, they expect a one-of-a-kind garment with no expense spared. He hopes his latest design is up to the quality his clients at the hotel demand. This is a very special design for the guests from the river. It can be shown with the hand, and then it can be made by the hand of Skorovsky. With a bow cup, ở phần trên áo dài thì nó sẽ làm cho các người mặc khi mà xuất hiện uh, tại các cái sự kiện họ sẽ rất là nổi bật. For the Anam Resort's general manager Herbert Laubishler Pishler, promoting the country's culture and identity is key to a guest's stay at the hotel. So his first task was to offer them a taste of the real Vietnam. What I realized is that I wanted to bring in as much local color and as much local culture as possible. We like the Asian food and we want to see the culture and we heard a lot, a lot of uh, about Vietnam from our colleagues on work. But we love this resort and the Vietnamese people, also the very good food yeah. here. The more authentic it is, the better for you because that's the reason why you go on holiday. You want to feel when in Rome do as the Romans do and when in Saigon do as the Saigonese do. Soon after taking over running the resort, Herbert met local photographer Mai Lau, and they quickly formed a close bond over the local arts and crafts scene. I know Herbert, and he's a person who loves photography, and Herbert uh, have uh, contacted me and had an idea to show to the tourists something about the real Vietnam, not only with the beautiful landscape, but also beautiful with the daily life, with the local people, how the people are smiling. To deliver this experience, Herbert has introduced local art tours so guests can get a real taste of authentic Vietnamese culture, thanks to Mai Lau's intimate knowledge of the local community. We want to give our guests the opportunity to make the most out of the holiday, to get this feeling, to get this experience, and the more we do this and the more we help them, the more we help the guests, and of course we also help the country, and we help our staff. 
even if you go to the salt field, when you see how the hard worker, then you know the valuable of every salt you eat. And this is something Europeans love to see. Yeah, they like to see how the Vietnamese people living, how they, their daily life, that you not, would not see somewhere in Europe. Today, Mai has headed down to the docks in nearby Nha Trang village, a popular destination among guests at the resort who take part in his local tours, and his favorite location for capturing photos of typical Vietnamese life. So I normally uh, take some tourists here. At most of the Europe, and they want to see something, to learn something from the real life. Uh, how the people live in by the fishing village, how the people um, catching the fish, how the people uh, live in the small community. Back in Ho Chi Minh City, the Reverie Saigon also lays on unique local experiences for its guests. Beginning in their fleet of executive limousines, they want their day trips to feel luxurious. Today, staff are planning what they hope will be a special treat for two guests. My name is Thao, so I'm the butler at the Rary Saigon, a member of Leading Hotel Blue World. So today I uh, assist uh, the chef to repair the picnic uh, for the Mekong River. The experience, which costs over one and a half thousand pounds, includes a specially prepared gourmet picnic, which Tao has come to collect from executive sous chef Marcel Geraldini in the hotel's kitchen. Uh, today we have a special request from uh, one of our regular guests, and uh, we have prepared uh, a couple of things that he likes. We have the berries, hand-picked berries. We have the fresh strawberries came in this morning. He's very particular about the cherries, came from Chile. For the seafood, we have the Amalfi Coast lemon, uh, Scottish smoked salmon, Alaskan queen crab with the Vietnamese sweet basil, yes. organic uh, green leaves. And this one, please, is the caviar. You have to make sure it stays nice and cold. We keep everything here. If there's anything else you need, you let us know. Just make sure the caviar is nice and cold all the way through. With the caviar on ice, there isn't a moment to lose as Butler Tao jumps into a waiting car to take her straight to the pride of the hotel's transport fleet a 60-foot Monte Carlo 6 private yacht. This is the four o'clock decoration, the caviar. I need to put uh, and make sure this uh, very cold as the chef asked before. With guests finally on board, it's time to hoist the anchor and begin their special tour. As the main water supply for the entire city, this five-hour cruise down the river cuts through the city in style, while its passengers enjoy a unique perspective of the communities and wildlife which thrive on its banks. Enjoy uh, the picnic uh, we prepare for you. And uh, are you ready? I will talk with the captain. We'll uh, move now. Yes. While the guests in the city enjoy their afternoon navigating the river, back at the Anam Resort, the hotel's guests are enjoying one of its spa's many massage treatments to unwind after an active day on the beach and local street photographer Mai Lau has arrived at the hotel with a surprise for his friend, General Manager Herbert. So, I've come here to deliver some photo for Herbert. And uh, it's just keep secret until we uh, sit order. And as Herbert, he loves us, 
So I wanted him, met him to be surprised. Good morning, Hepper. Oh, yeah. Morning. Uh, How are you? Yeah, just, you. just oh, come. I the coffee prepared already yeah. for you. I hear you went to the fish market yesterday. Yeah. Okay. I have some uh, near four, or just want to show yeah, you, pick up something. Show me, please. Ah. Uh, you see, yeah. Uh, this one is nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's uh, the shock in the fish. Yeah. Okay, let's take this one. Yeah. yeah. I will frame it and uh, put it up. Okay. Yeah. Mice photographs are not the only taste of local authenticity to arrive at the hotel today. With preparations for this evening's dinner service already underway, the hotel's popular Lang Viet restaurant is hosting some very special visitors. A group of local women carefully selected for their skills in authentic Vietnamese cuisine. Mama cooking is 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 something which which is really really exciting. The mamas, they hold all the secrets when it comes to Vietnamese food. They are the ones that in, get you to really experience something new about Vietnam in the way of flavors. They've all got their own little recipes. They also bring the the smile, uh, their sort of personality into the food. What they bring to this to their nam just allows us to sort of bring the outside into the resort so that guests can experience more. We bring them here and they cook for our guests and this is the most successful idea and concept I've ever developed in my entire career. It's very, very good. Every time I think about it, I, I, I get emotional because I feel, you know, it's so nice when you come home to your mother. Just enjoying the taste that each of them bring, it's... It's overwhelming. It's, I mean, I enjoy it very much every day, especially on my days off. <laughs> Finally, the moment all the guests have been waiting for has arrived. Even busy general manager Herbert has found the time to go to tonight's authentic Vietnamese feast, courtesy of the Mamas. You can hear the music. It always changes at 6 o'clock in the evening. And now we have a look at the Mamas what they cooked so far, and I will try one of the things, if they, if they, if they let me try, okay, you never know. <laughs> Good evening, Mama, how are you today? Everything okay? You did well so far, I hear. I don't speak Vietnamese and they don't speak English, but we know each other now because I go every time when they come, I go there and I shake their hand and they laugh at me and uh, they, they are happy when I, when, when I eat their food. Can you give me a plate, please? My, my plate over there. Yeah. Okay. This is my, my tasting plate. Okay. I always take this one. This one with a little sauce. So let's see. Mmm. Very delicious. Perfect. Thank you very much. Mmm. The Mama's Buffet provides the perfect opportunity to introduce guests to classic Vietnamese dishes and regional ingredients like wild betel leaf and the local chilies. This is a really, really nice dish. Okay? This is the, I'm, I wouldn't say the favorite dish, but President Obama ate this when he was in Hanoi. Yeah? It's here, Bun Cha Hanoi. Yeah? But here is my absolute favorite, leaf la lot, beef la lot. And I will try this one, okay? You see, everyone likes this over, so I have to queue as well. When I see the interaction with our guests, then I say, okay, that's the thing I wanted to achieve, and I've achieved it. So I'm satisfied with, uh, with, with the things uh, I see there. Yeah? This is how it makes me feel. Back at the Reverie Saigon, the storm has meant the hotel's bars and restaurants are getting busy as visitors take refuge from the bad weather. But that's not the only reason. We have the long bar, which is the longest bar in uh, Ho Chi Minh City. It's stretching over the entire building. At 48 meters, the long bar is the perfect venue to unwind with one of its signature cocktails. While visitors are entertained at the bar, 
In the kitchen, for executive chef Shivani and his team of internationally trained chefs, their attention is on tonight's dinner service. There are five restaurants on site and all offer a varied menu, so guests choosing to eat in have plenty to choose from. And Giovanni's Italian flavours offer something a bit different to holidaymakers looking for food with a bit less spice than the local cuisine. I would say a refined Italian cuisine, without any doubts, one of the best in town. I, 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 I can guarantee that. <laughs> this actually is our kitchen of Romain Juliet, our specialty restaurants, Italian restaurants. Here we do prepare uh, a lot of Italian specialties. This evening, a signature dish on the menu includes a classic Italian cheese, burrata. But like all the ingredients in Giovanni's kitchen, it's a cut above the usual, specially flown in from southern Italy for the restaurant's diners. Our beautiful burrata. It comes from a um, small producer, Apulia. Beautiful, this is going very well. It become our, one of our signature dish. Burrata is beautiful because outside looks like mozzarella, but inside is very creamy. I'm gonna show you in a moment. Okay. Underneath we have a roast tomato, organic tomato from our farm, tomato jelly, uh, basil crumbs. Then I put some basil seeds, beautiful extra virgin olive oil. And voila. We have around 300 pieces per month, but the producer does not produce more than that because they say the flavor of the cheese, if they started to make more, is not the same. So we only have 300 pieces for our exclusive guests of the hotel. Importing the hotel's burrata and dozens of other genuine Italian ingredients may seem like a huge challenge, but it's nothing compared to the massive effort Giovanni and his team have made to keep the kitchen supplied with its other essential fresh ingredients. It was a big challenge. We couldn't find a good olive oil. We couldn't find uh, eggs, proper eggs. We started from zero. We have our own farm in Dalat, where we have organic vegetables. We couldn't find, so we, we, we came up with this decision to make it, to grow for ourselves. You know, I have so many restaurants. Uh, Better go now, otherwise we have nothing to eat. One maialino, pick up! Yes, yes, yes. Anam Resort and the Reverie Saigon both aim to provide accommodation that they hope delivers the perfect combination of luxury, warm hospitality and memorable experiences. I want them to, to be blown away by the, uh, by the hotel and by the service and say that, um, yeah, it's, it is the second home that they can leave and say we have, uh, yeah, we have been at home. Here we care about guests. We never say no. No one is allowed to say no in this, in this hotel, only me. You know, we have a special request, we have difficult requests sometimes, but that's why we are here for. In a country which, for many visitors, presents a culture and environment far outside their own experience, these hotels offer a perfect blend of familiar Western-style hospitality and their own unique and authentic opportunities to explore the unknown. And now about our people. That's something really uh, like a legend uh, name and uh, original name of the Vietnamese. Travelling can change you completely. Staffs are very friendly and helpful, and they also have a, a very friendly laugh on their lips. It's a very fantastic uh, hotel. We will come back, we are <laughs> sure about it. Please come to our place, let your frustration outside of the door, come here, open your heart, and you will have the most amazing time. <laughs>